Hello, friends. Oh, well, another long day, another um, another go round with the arranging on the arranging merry go round. If you can't tell, it's been a long day. But I had this really remarkable thought. Uh, well, not so much a thought. It was kind of an experience this morning. I was meditating. I had a nice long morning to meditate. I got up pretty early and uh, at least for some reason slept three hours longer than she normally does. So it was a, a morning where I got to do a kind of full meditation, full Qigong session, and then still have... Um, and then I actually came to my desk and started working before she was even awake for quite a while. And I, um, but somewhere in there while I was meditating, it was, I had been reflecting on what I've been talking about for the last couple of days with seeing what my mind is addicted to. You know, my post yesterday was on, um, pushing the righteous indignation button. And man, if I did not watch myself push that button again and again and again this morning, it's like, what was amazing to me was not just that I did that, but I could go from a state. You know, meditation is an amazing thing. Meditation is a way of, I feel like it's like a way of accelerating our thinking and putting it under a microscope so that we actually see what it is we're thinking all the time. It's not, it doesn't change what we're thinking all the time. It just lets us see it. It's kind of like I said this about Qigong too, you know, if we, especially Qigongs that involve some static positions where we just kind of hold a pose. Now they're always, there's always a dynamic staticness to it it's it's a dynamic position it's never rigid but when i when we hold a still when we hold stillness we begin to feel everything that's inside of us and phys on physical level that means five minutes of standing still can make it can bring up a lot of tension in our body well, meditation is kind of the same thing, like five minutes of sitting still and just listening to our mind. It's like all of a sudden, all this tension comes up, all this just what's there. And this morning, I, I watched myself go from a state of total calm where it was like oh i i don't i i'm totally conscious here i have no there's i'm not i'm not i'm not predisposed to getting pulled into a mental vortex because i'm really grounded and connected and present <laughs> and then but i had a long time to meditate longer than usual so you know, 10 minutes later, I'm playing the angry tape again. And I'm like, and but it was remarkable to me. What was kind of amazing, you know, I, the, the, one of the things that struck me was how many different circumstances of my life I can impose this on or project this on. It's like any surface will do. I can be thinking about my family. I can be thinking about my work. I can be thinking about my friends. I can be thinking about my siblings. I, I can find any relationship in my life and find a way to project this onto it. And that's sort of scary. <laughs> you know, it's, it's scary because it kind of means 90% of what I think I'm feeling has nothing to do with the other people. Now, I don't know if that's always true, 
but certainly in the case of this emotion, this type of interaction, this type of state that I go into, it's almost unequivocally true because I've now seen that I have a massively powerful agenda to create that feeling. So, you know, it's one thing to have done that. If you, you know, it's one thing to sort of like have that come up every once in a while. It's another thing to see, oh, it's like I have a practice of righteous indignation. And so, you know, what, what, it, what it, I, I was encouraged this morning because I felt like I sat with it and, and, that, and watched that arise and sat through it several times. I, I, I went from the beginning through that process several times and just kept catching it, catching it, catching it. And little by little, it was like, oh, look, each one was a little, you know, it was like it was a little less compelling. Um, and I'm getting, I'm, I'm kind of looking forward to now seeing if there's a way that I can in my normal life, you know, not, oh, God. Man, this has been a long day. In my normal life, be as present with that. In other words, feel that come up in a circumstance, not in my mind in meditation, but in an actual circumstance, and be as present with it and kind of clock, I'm creating this. This is not, like, whatever this circumstance is or this other person, it's not actually them that is creating this. It's me. Um... Because I'm, you know, that's sort of like the next level is can, can we, now that we know meditation is a great place to see what our mind does, but then once we know it, can we take it in, can we go out into the world and remember that that's what we know about our mind and then apply that understanding to our, to our world? you know, to, to, to the way that we engage with the world. Because it's almost like an agenda like that is like a filter. I'm filtering out everything except the emotion that I'm addicted to feeling. And it makes me kind of curious where that came from. I'm starting to think about it. Like I was like, well, am I, is this something that someone in a position of power over me felt or expressed a lot. And so somehow I started to associate, oh, if you want to have power, you have to be righteously into I don't, I, I don't know. I didn't crack the nut, but I certainly got curious. I was like, wow, I'm so programmed. I mean, the other thing that I have felt recently, this is a little bit unrelated, but but the other thing I've felt recently is like I was sitting in meditation a week or two ago and it was like I just for a moment really tangibly felt that I was wrestling with karma with a form of energy and programming from a past life. It was like I wasn't I was like, this is not from this life. <clears throat> and yet, it's like it's part of my bones. It's part of my DNA. It's part of the core of who I am. Not in the absolute infinite sense, but in the manifest sense. In the kind of like my developing ego sense. This is part of me. This is something I know. This is, a, these are, this is an experience I have been through. And that was pretty profound to feel. It was like, it was, it was like, I can't even tell you why I was so sure that I was feeling something from another time or life, but uh, I'm really sorry. It's been a crazy day. Um, I can't tell you why I felt so sure that that's what it was. It was just 
a palpable feeling of I know things that I have not learned in this life. And read that's that was all you know, it was just like so it was just like self evident recognition of that. So Yeah. So between those two kind of you know, those two things, it's like, I don't, I, I'm not trying to figure out why, I'm not trying to figure out where this addiction to righteous indignation comes from. I'm just noticing it and I'm kind of available to see it because God knows that is not a pleasant place to live. So it's, um, You know, it's really interesting to observe, and it's really humbling to observe. And it's really inspiring, in a way, to observe. Because it's like, I'm getting, a, I feel like I'm getting a handle on something. Because if I'm addicted to that emotion, that means that I have to create circumstances that are adverse. In other words, I have an addiction to adverse circumstances so that I can feel this emotion that is appropriate in those circumstances. And that's remarkable to notice because my God, what if that limitation what if I what if I wasn't living with that limitation? You know, what if I what if I shifted? What if what if I shifted out? What if I let that go? and no longer unconsciously was creating circumstances that give me an excuse to feel this. You know, what else could I create? It's kind of like what, you know, like what I was realizing yesterday, like for all, with all the energy I'm spending on this, what if I spent one hour just reflecting on how much I love Annalise? Just feeling how much I love her. Thinking about all the different things about her that I love. You know, what if I was using my energy that way? So, yeah. That's what's coming through. Thank you, friends. So much love. You mean the world to me. Can't say it enough. It's so important to me. I appreciate this conversation so deeply. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you soon.